everyone. This is Dr. K. Manohar Babu, Professor, VGS College of Pharmacy. Today's topic is common laboratory animals <laughs> used in drug development. So, for our convenience, I divided this uh, subject into two parts. Part one deals with the rodents, and part two deals with uh, other animals apart from rodents. So here the types of animal model I'm going to cover the topics such as classification of disease models classification based on research then rodent animal models so uh, complete description about the rat mouse guinea pig gerbil hamster etc so physiologically and anatomically there is a similarities between the human and animals at organs and organ systems which function in a similar fashion this similarity makes animals ideal model for the study and development of products and techniques for the humans so animals can be broadly categorized as homologous animals isomorphic animals and predictive animals Homo homologous animals uh, it means the pathogen which infect the human can also infect the animal so by using this infection we can develop these symptoms in the animals and uh, related uh, uh, treatment options can be chosen so this is exactly a, the uh, it, the pathogen is same as in human whereas isomorphic animals so here the disease causing agents may not infect that particular species but still we can develop the symptoms and symptomatic treatment can be developed so predictive animals when animals strictly display only the treatment characters of the disease is said to be the predictive animals so here uh, depending on the disease model development we can classify the animals into induced or experimental disease models so here uh, spontaneous disease models transgenic disease model negative disease model and orphan disease model so here induced the disease model in the sense so we wantedly induce the disease in the animal say for example we want to uh, uh, develop the diabetic mice or rat so here wantedly will destroy the b cells in the spleen so resulting the animals are induces to the diabetes next spontaneous disease model or genetic model so we'll manipulate the genes in the animal so that the disease can be produced so that is called as spontaneous disease models transgenic disease mo model so here some of the pathogens are uh, strictly restricted to the human in this scenario if you want to grow this in infection in the animal so we have to transplant the human tissue into the animal so that is said to be the transgenic animal and native disease models and orphan disease models are used classification of the animal research based on the type of research we will conduct so basic research in a sense uh, uh, what normal metabolism what is the uh, different uh, organelle is involved so that is basic research which protein is activating which protein is uh, down regulating all this process to study this is called as basic research then apply research so the basic information if you apply to develop any drug it is called as applied research toxicological studies basically it is uh, for uh, studying the to uh, study the toxicities ld50 values etc xenotransplantation so these are the various uh, classification depending on the type of research we are conducting so animals which are used in the research can be categorized as mammals and miscellaneous mammals are further divided into rodents and non rodents mice rat guinea pig hamster are the example for the rodents and rabbit dog cat monkey so uh, is non rodents and other animals also can be but 
as for this presentation we are concentrating on only the rodents the mice rat guinea pig and hamster so if you see this uh, research aspects so mice and uh, rat takes a significant uh, percentage of the research so most of the research is take, uh, is by using the rat and mice Sign uh, rabbit uh, birds and other animals are comparatively with a less percentage will be used so here i mean to say the importance of rats and mice in the pharmacological study so rodent animal models uh, rat mouse guinea pig gerbil hamster depending on the requirement we we are supposed to choose the animal for the pharmacological study so ratus the scientific name is uh, ratus navagicus the strain of rat used in experimental pharmacology or wister rat and pargu dowling the rat resembled the human in several organ function nutrition and sensitive to most of the drugs make them very useful in experimental pharmacology the various tissues used for the study of the drug are colon stomach uterus cecum vas differentiae and abdominal smooth muscle the rat brain tissue is extensively employed in radio receptor ligand study so uh, uh, the specialty of the anatomy of the rat is the uh, uh, rat doesn't have gall bladder it's open rooted incisors extensive mammary tissues then hadrian gland behind eyeball secretes porphyrin so this is porphyrin is uh, uh, somewhat like hemoglobin in uh, in us so uh, this is the Uh, which uh, the uh, porphyrin absorb the uv light so that is the reason why the uh, animal eye is uh, uh, brightly shine even in the in the dark when the uh, in the darkness the average weight of the animal is 350 grams so rats have been useful for uh, the research uh, in the analgesic anti convulsants uh, main uh, mating behavior lactation gastric acid secretion haplotoxicity study of mast cells bios of various hormones such as insulin oxytocin vasopressin rats are better at removing the toxin from their bodies than the humans so it may be possible to refine the use of rats in toxicology study the rat brain tissue is extensively employed in radio receptor ligand so basically there are two categories of the most of the useful rats in uh, research is wister rats it develops in 1902 in wister institute the uh, it's it has the long ears the tail length is lesser than the body weight it has wide head so this is the specific characters to identify the wister rats coming to spargu dowli rats the length uh, the these rats typically have increased tail to body length ratio as compared to the wister rats long even rats they are utilized as a multi purpose model organism frequently in behavioral and obesity research a zucker rats they are genetically modified rats to study the hypertension and obesity bio breeding rats they are used as a model to study the autoimmune type 1 disease hairless rats they are used to study the compromised immune system and genetic kidney so these are the various rats and their uh, use so rat breeding gestation time is 21 days weaning after 21 days then estrus is 40 to uh, 4 to 6 days the females sexual maturity is 6 weeks and males 8 weeks the life span is around 2 to uh, 3.5 years and the total number of the chromosomes present in rat is 22 pairs so here the specific characters of uh, rats are they can not vomit they can uh, the esophagus sphincter is opened during the vomiting with the help of longitudinal muscle of the esophagus which is weak in the rat so that is the reason why the rats cannot vomit the rats lack of necessary neural connections to the coordinate the muscle involvement in vomiting so these are the two basic reasons why the rat cannot be vomit next we will go for the mice 
the scientific name is mus musculus the strain of mice used in experimental pharmacology as a swiss strain laca and bulb they are small in size around 20 to 25 to 30 grams and extensively used in toxic study bioassay of drugs testing of analgesics cns activity drugs and chemotherapeutic agents most recently mouse brain tissue as well as the primary cell cultures of the mouse spinal cord uh, neurons are used in a, a neuropharmacology for the studying of neurotransmitter and receptor function so anatomy is porphyrin gland is present behind the eyeball open rooted in incisors males have larger spleen than females extensive mammary tissues are present in these animals so here the chromosome number of this uh, mice is 20 pairs of the chromosomes a lifespan is 1 to 3 years gestation 21 days as like a rat waning of 21 days then females uh, sexual maturity after six weeks and males after eight weeks so guinea pig guinea pig weigh around 400 to 600 grams are commonly used experimental animal they are used to study the local anesthetics and as a model in experimental amoebiasis and cholera as they are sensitive to these microorganisms so guinea pig tissue such as ileum is the most common preparations used to study the spasmogens and anti-spasmonic drugs here the use of uh, guinea pig in research uh, vitamin c cannot synthesized in guinea pig must be supplied the serum of the guinea pig contain enzyme aspartaginase which shows the anti leukemic action guinea pig needs high level of folic acid thiamine arginine and vitamin k it's a good model for study nutritional deficiency the serum containing neutral uh, natural painkillers known as encephalins the plasma of the guinea pig contain low density of lipoprotein useful in the cholesterol metabolism studies guinea pig uh, gestation period is 59 to 72 days used to useful to study the birth defects uh, defects etc the useful in development of vaccine for the diphtheria and tuberculosis uh, bioassay of the digitalis and allergic reactions and asthma and histamine so these are the various uh, scientific uh, scientific uh, uses of the guinea pig this gerbil the scientific name is merionis angiculitis also known as the sand rat used as a research animal in stroke epilepsy and heart diseases useful in study of parasitic and bacterial infections used in auditory studies because the hearing curve is similar to that of the humans so hamsters hamsters we have golden assyrian hamster and chinese hamster so it is uh, gestation period is uh, 16 useful for the oncovirus influenza virus hope this uh, presentation is useful thank you